Hey guys, it's John Michael with The New Adventure. And this week, we went out for a quick camping trip and we're gonna bring you guys five of our top tips for Christmas gifts for somebody who likes getting out in the outdoors. Here we go. The best part about camping is just hanging out together, which brings us to our first item on the list, the hammock. We love these hammocks. We got them from Costco. They're really easy to set up. The hardest part about setting them up is finding two trees to set them up on. Are these too far enough apart? They're super helpful. Definitely recommend these hammocks. They were from Costco. They were about 10 bucks each. We've had them for a couple years and they've worked perfectly. So if you're not a hammock person, this brings us to item number two on our list, the camping chair. And we're going to show you a couple different types and tell you why we like them. So we got this chair at Dick's Sporting Goods. I actually got it for Father's Day. The thing I like about the chair is you can rock in it. And that's pretty daggum awesome for an outdoor chair. It does fold up and get really compact. Um, it's like one of the stadium chairs, but it's got your little gas shocks back here. So you can just rock your day away and enjoying it doing dad things. So you find you something to prop your feet up on, kick back, and just enjoy the campfire. That's why I love this chair. So this is my chair. It is my favorite. We got it at Costco. Um, I think they do have it on Amazon. So this chair right here, it's big enough for you to be able to pull your feet up in it, tuck your feet in, pull a blanket around yourself. It's cushy all the way around. You can just snuggle down in it. You feel like you're in a recliner when you're sitting by the campfire. And my backside does not get cold because there's no mesh back here. It has a little cup holder here on the side. Most comfortable chair. This is my favorite. I recommend it. Building a campfire brings us to item number three on our list. John Michael's favorite tool, the ax. So guys, this is the Grands Force Brooks Small Forest Ax. Monica got me this for Christmas two years ago. This is an absolute just joy of mine. Um, Does it give you the fizz? It certainly gives me the fizz. Now this was not exactly a cheap thing, so if your guy or lady is really into the outdoors and think they would treasure something like this, this is just, this is something that I'm gonna have forever. I'll be able to pass down to someone. Not sure who yet, but um, check this guy out. It came razor sharp. I could literally shave my arms with it. Um, not that I did, but I could. And uh, are you sure? did a little bit to make it my own. All right, I did. But um, did a little bit to make my own. I painted it, put a little collar on there because we booger it up when we play with it. But um, it's something I've thoroughly enjoyed. I didn't know such a small, simple thing could give you the fizz like that, but the axe certainly does. Well, after splitting up all that firewood, you're probably hungry. So that brings us to item number four on our list, the Blackstone Griddle, the travel version. So this right here is the Blackstone, the Adventure Ready model. I believe it's an 18 inch. Um, runs off the little green propane bottles you can get anywhere. We really like this for our camper. You've seen how much we use our Blackstone at the house. So this one we just throw in the camper, take it with us. It's kind of like a tailgater model. So it's got an igniter. Sometimes it takes a couple of times to hit. Then put your tray down. and it comes with a little grease catcher. Once you get it seasoned in really good, you really don't need any type of cooking oil or anything, but I usually put a little olive oil down. We forgot to bring olive oil with us on this trip, so we're gonna hit it with some canola oil, and then we're gonna have us some pork chops for dinner. Well, nothing can ruin a picnic faster than bugs. So that brings us to item number five on our list. So guys, we picked this up when we were down in Florida. We were doing a camping trip down there and the bugs were absolutely terrible. 
This is a thermocell. What it does, it burns with a little butane insert. It burns a um, mosquito repellent. You can clip them to your side. You can clip them on a post. They give you probably, I guess like a 30 foot range. They work incredibly well. I'm very surprised with them. So I use them when I'm fishing, when we're out in the woods, when we're camping, we'll set a couple of them around. These things are a pretty sweet ticket and they're not that expensive either. Well, we hope this list was helpful to you, but we're gonna throw in a quick stocking stuffer idea for the outdoor kid in your life. A great stocking stuffer for outdoor kids is Funky Flames. And what's it do? It makes your fire turn colors, and it's really cool. I think kids would be real. Oh, I'm a kid, and I love it. I think other kids will. So like Corey said, Funky Flames is a fire additive. It turns your fire from this color to this color. It's pretty cool. We like it. Well, that's it for this week. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And hey, leave us a comment and let us know what's on your wish list this Christmas. Another one of my favorite pieces of gear is the New Adventure sweatshirt. They keep you warm when it's chilly. What, 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 where to find it? Finding the place to hang them. Yeah, that. It's Grant's first books, Small Forest Axe. I can't really say it that well. Grant's first books. Grant Forest books. It's a Swedish-made, hand-forged axe. It's, you know a kid that's funky.